We will use the following example to show how to perform a parametric analysis for the heatsink in classic ice pack and AEDT ice pack. We will add the number of fins as the parameter for the smaller heatsink. To monitor the effectiveness of the heatsink, we will create a monitor point on the power dissipating block under the heatsink. In classic ice pack, right click block 1 under the model tree. Click on create and select monitor point. Double click heatsink small. Under the properties tab, we will add the fin count as our parameter. In order to add a parameter, we will add a dollar symbol before assigning the variable as shown. Click on update and add an initial value. In this case, 10 fins. Click on the run optimization button and under the trial type, select the parametric trial option. There are multiple ways to add your parametric trials. However, for this video, we will select all combinations. Under the design variables, you may either add discrete values to the fin count or you may choose to add as a range. For this example, we will go ahead by selecting the in range option. Our start value would be 10 and end value would be 45 with an increment of 5. Click on apply. Under the trial tab, we can see all the combinations. Click on run. Once the solution is finished, click on post and select trials plot. Ensure that the x variable is set to trial and y variable is set to temperature. Click on add point. Select block 1 and click on create. As you can see from the plot, the temperature of block 1 decreases with increase in the fin count. And after a certain point, the temperature increases due to an increase in fin count as it creates an obstruction in the flow of the fluid along its surfaces. In AEDT ice pack, we will use the same example as we did for classic ice pack. Do note that it is recommended to use a user-defined heatsink for a parametric trial. The user-defined heatsink option is available under the draw menu, user-defined model, heatsink. Right-click block 1 under the model tree. Select assign monitor and select point. Under the thermal dropdown, select temperature. Select heatsink 1, which is the smaller heatsink. Click on parameters in the properties tab. Add a variable to the fin count as shown. Add an initial value of 10 and click OK. Right click optometrics. Click on add and select parametric. Click on add and under the variable select count. Select linear step and start with 10 fins and stop at 45 fins with a step of 5. Click on add and click OK. Under the table tab, we can see the various fin counts defined. Click on OK. Right click parametric setup 1 and click on analyze. Once the trials are complete, right click on results. Click on monitor report and select rectangular plot. The primary sweep would be the variable, in this case count. Under category, select monitor and select the created monitor point and click on new report. Similar to classic ice pack, we can observe the same behavior of the temperature of the power dissipating block with the change in the number of the fins.